Okay, he goes in. Um, as you know, uh, the reports are, we don't know, the reports are that Pigozin died. Even Putin now has sent his condolences um, and uh, described Pigozin as a talented businessman who, uh, who made serious mistakes in life but also sought to achieve the necessary results. So uh, even Putin is mourning, <laughs> in quotes, mourning Pigozin's death. It seems like he was on the plane. Um, yeah, it, it, it appears that FSB did it, that uh, the, the Russian security services did it one way or the other, whether it was uh, ordered to shoot it down or whether there was a bomb on the plane itself. But that plane was brought down by something. It wasn't just an accident. Um, uh, Putin said in his address that the investigation is going to take time. Of course, it's going to take time. They have to have the right story and they have to make sure to cover up and they have to send the message but not be too explicit about assassinating opponents. Um, all 10 people in the plane died, including Dmitry Utkin, and maybe this is why they chose this moment to assassinate Prigozhin, because Dmitry Utkin was with him. Utkin was his number two. He was the co-founder of the Wagner Group. He was really, Utkin was really the military leader of, uh, of uh, uh, Wagner. Remember that, that Prigozhin, it w was a hot dog salesman. I mean, Pogosin had no knowledge, never served in the military. Uh, it was a, was a small-time crook before he became a hot dog salesman. Uh, he, was con he was called uh, a Putin chef. He was like the, the marketing guy. He was the guy out in front. He was the, the political schmoozer. He was the one who got the, Pent the uh, Pentagon, the, the um, um, Kremlin to pay them the, the big bucks. But it was uh, Rutkin who really ran military operations. And I think that um, uh, part, of, part of this goal was to take out both of them at the same time. Um, Rutkin is, is, a, is a nasty, mean type of person, uh, served in the Russian Special Forces. Uh, reportedly, it, it was a neo-Nazi, had multiple, uh, multiple Nazi tattoos. You know, this is rich coming from regime that claims that the Ukrainians are Nazis, but, but Utkin had multiple Nazi tattoos, including the SS insignia. Um, they Supposedly, Utkin uh, insisted on calling the operation the Wagner Group, out, uh, uh, you know, out of a, named after Richard Wagner, the composer that the Nazis, that Hitler himself and the Nazis uh, appropriated. Um, and he used to greet subordinates by saying, Heil. Right uh, and uh, and uh, often signed his name with kind of the SS insignia lightning bolt. Anyway, nasty character, probably a neo-Nazi. Also died in the plane crash. I mean, good riddance to both of them. Pigozin and, and him, both nasty characters. This opens up a lot of questions of what happens to the Wagner Group now, particularly what happens to their uh, 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 Africa operations. Who takes them over? Uh, also in Syria. Um, do the Wagner Group disintegrate? Do they get a new leader? Does the Kremlin direct, take direct control over them? Uh, what they do for the Kremlin in Africa is way too valuable, you would think, for this just to go away. It might be that it took so long to kill Pogosin since the mutiny because the Kremlin had to set up um, a, a backup plan of what to do with Wagner uh, and what to do w with their military operations in Africa and in Syria and, and who knows where else they have people. I don't know, but that, that seems likely that you would need to create a, an alternative uh, setup uh, for how to run those operations. Uh, I mean, there, there are tens of billions of dollars at stake here uh, that are really crucial. Uh, and uh, yeah, so... Um, you know, hard, hard exactly to tell, but uh, um, exactly why it took this long for Putin to get revenge, hard to exactly tell why now, hard to tell exactly why this way, what this message says, but, but the message is clear in Russia. Do not oppose Vladimir Putin in any way. If you do, you fall out of a window or fall out of the sky, whether you get shot first and uh, a knife driven through your eye before you fall out of the window it doesn't really matter, but uh, you will die one way or another. You will be dead. Um, this is particularly, uh, you know, uh, noteworthy given given the the, the 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 ongoing. I see on Twitter constant 
comparison of the Russian regime to the American regime. So many people keep writing to me, particularly after Virik's comments yesterday about Ukraine, which were awful, I think. Just awful. And he, and he, has, a, he has the geopolitical understanding, geo, geopolitical understanding of China-Russia relationship of a five-year-old. And that's a compliment. I mean, I mean it, it, it's so stupid. Uh, his, his whole analysis, he's trying to rationalize a position that probably doesn't even believe in because he thinks that's what will get him votes. But it, it was a five-year-old analysis of the Ukrainian war. Uh, but, you know, uh, God, what was my point? My point was the people were responding, supporting his position by saying, yeah, the U.S. regime is just as evil as the Russian regime and Ukraine is even worse. Uh, indeed, if you read General Flynn today, on um, on uh, Twitter, then Ukraine is is uh, Ukraine. The country of Ukraine is responsible for most of the tri child, uh, you know, uh, 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 child abuse and child trafficking in the world. They're they're responsible for drug trafficking, money laundering. Every single evil in the world today is centered in Ukraine and run by Zelensky. That's how insane some of these people are. But um, with all due respect, the United States still does not. Uh, drop its polit political opponents out of windows. It just doesn't happen. Um, you, you know, many people might accuse the Justice Department of going after, of going after, um, uh, of going after uh, uh, Trump using the Justice Department. At least we have a, you know, courts. You can appeal. You can go to the Supreme Court. Uh, you you might assume that all of that is completely corrupt. Yeah, but. Trump did not get a bullet in the in the forehead. He did not fall out of the Trump Tower. He, his plane was not shot down or blown up. Just that is just a little bit uh, of an improvement over the situation in Russia. I mean, God, the people who make that moral equivalency, I find completely and utterly despicable and ridiculous. And anyway, um, yeah, uh, Pope Zelensky was a line I think Vivek threw out there. Uh, just disgusting. Uh, so I, I can't support Vivek, although I want to support Vivek. Right? God, I really do want to support Vivek because in climate change, he's excellent. On some of the economic policy, he's excellent. Uh, and, 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 uh, and, and, you know, but on everything else. I, what was it? Who was it? It was, um, no, it was DeSantis. DeSantis, who, who was sending special forces team into Mexico to deal with the cartel. Another one who is going to send us to war. You know, let's end the war in Ukraine by going to war with Mexico. That is brilliant. Just frigging brilliant. Let's take a war far away from us and, and let's, let, let's let, you know, let the, let the bad guys win that one. And we're going to go and engage in a war here right in our territory. For what exactly? The world is going to hell. I mean, it really is. I, I, I don't see a way out of it.